Boys and girls, would you like to hear about when Freddy, before I, he came here, I met him in a place called Treble Clef Island. And Treble Clef Island was way out in the wonderful ocean called the Sea of Music. And Freddy lived way up here in the trees. Let's take a look and see. Treble clef, yeah, well, I guess it could. And then over here's the treble clef. Yeah, it kind of does. Very good. Now, over here is a map of where Freddie came from. And it's a big map. And who lives up there? Freddie. Yes, because he lives in the tree house that's right there. So, are you ready to be good listeners? Yeah. Now, when he meets his friend, he goes thump, thump, thump. Thump. And you can do it if you can do it softly, and we can still hear the story. It does say the sea of music. Here we go. Might be kind of loud. Freddy the Frog and the Thump in the Night. Written by Sharon Birch. Illustrated by Tiffany Harris. Adapted into storybook text by Debbie Watley. This is Freddy. Freddy loved to sing. Not the usual croaking noises that frogs make, but songs like Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And Froggy went a court and he did ride a huh. Froggy went a court and he did ride a huh. Music was very alive where Freddy lived because Freddie lived on the far north side of Treble Clef Island. This map of Treble Clef Island is called a staff. Freddie and his parents lived where the top line is. They lived in a deep, tall forest filled with ferns and fireflies. Usually the forest was a great place for a frog to live, but one very hot summer, no rain fell. All the tasty bugs buzzed away to find cooler places. Freddy's parents knew they had to find bugs or the family would starve. It was too dangerous for Freddy to travel with them, so he had to stay at home. This was the first time they had left Freddy alone overnight. With farewell hugs and kisses, Freddy's mom and dad started on their journey to find food without their son. At first, Freddy felt scared and lonely. What if a burglar broke into my house? He thought. Or what if I can't figure out how to toast my toaster waffle? Or what if... Wait! I can do whatever I want! No one will tell me to take out the trash or turn down my music! Freddy grinned. This could be great! He hopped over to the stereo and pumped up the music so loud the leaves on his treehouse started to shake wildly. Freddy finally tuckered out. He flopped into bed and did not bother to take a bath or brush his gums. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, a loud thumping noise jolted Freddy out of his sleep. Thump, 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 thump. Oh no! Someone's coming to get me! Freddy's heart thumped now. Terrified, Freddy huddled under his blanket. Please go away! Please go away! He whimpered, but it didn't. Thump, 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 thump. All night it thumped. As dawn peeked through the windows. Let's see how much you can remember. Who lives up here? Freddy. Here. Freddy's vacation. Zelia's. And we're going to say it one more time. You can say this, Grant. Eli, Eli Freddy's Freddy, vacation, Zelia's crock, Eli's vacation, Freddy's. And we have one more way to say it, which is the flashcards. Ready? Who lives up here? Freddy, Freddy Eli, 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 Eli's vacation home. You rock. What's that? Azalea's. Azalea's. 
What's that? Freddy the Frog. Crocodile. Crocodile. There you go. Now you can see them. <laughs>